Hello and welcome everyone, Our Heart here with part 11 of my Sun Chen Let's Play for Total War Three Kingdoms. We continue where we left things off last time. Thank you once again for your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions. They're all greatly appreciated. Do keep them coming. So, picking things up where we left them last time, I was planning on taking Sun Chen down the river and then sailing up the coast to attempt to rescue the Emperor from Leo Bay. However, many, many, many of you have commented saying that would actually be a terrible idea because whoever controls the Emperor also gains control of the Han Empire as they become their vassal. And uh, while I could then just go around annexing um, Han Empire territory, it would cost, I think it's like between two to three K for some settlements. I don't know if it's higher for provincial capitals was a lot of Han Empire territory around me especially to the south loads of you said that would actually be a really bad plan because our faction specific mechanic with uh, Sun Jen is our heroism which obviously we get through battles and gobbling up all this Han Empire territory has enabled me to keep a very high level of heroism which gives us satisfaction recruitment cost reductions and retinue upkeep reductions so loads of you said that while yes the idea of racing on up to rescue the Emperor is a cool one it's not that practical with Sun Jen because it's really going to hurt uh, our heroism and all the buffs and bonuses that we get from that so i'm going to abandon the plan to rescue the emperor sorry chap um i guess you'll get kicked out when everybody declares emperor or three of us declare emperor at some point later on in the campaign i will go back to war with the han empire however i have to bear in mind that the han empire is now obviously a vassal of Leo Bay and we currently have treaties with him which means that when we go to war with the Han Empire it will draw Leo Bay into that conflict and if we have those treaties still active we will take a trustworthy uh, reliability hit and penalty so what I'm going to do is start negotiating with Leo Bay and actually cancel those treaties now I think we only have to wait five turns we are going to lose a bit of income here from the trade agreement if we issue declaration and then we should be able to go to the declare war tab issue declaration it won't actually go through yet so we need to wait five turns otherwise we'll get a minus 10 uh, we'll go from trustworthy to minus 10 untrustworthy now i don't know how um important how vital it is in three kingdoms to keep a trustworthy status but i imagine it's fairly important considering all the extra diplomatic options that three kingdoms has compared to other total war games and personally from my own experience especially with some of my recent warhammer 2 campaigns um when i have gone into negative uh, diplomatic reliability it's really hurt my campaign progress for a while so i don't want to risk it um so we'll leave things for five turns and then we'll declare war on the han empire which will bring uh, leo bay in so yeah again sorry emperor it was a cool plan but with our heroism mechanic it's not really uh, that great of an idea because it's just going to handicap us because especially because we've just started getting sun chen built up here and we can then storm on through and claim a load of territory here yes we're still going to have to pay to settle all these abandoned territories eventually but um, we can still grab a lot of this Han Empire territory quite nicely. Another thing you guys commented on, there was a lot of feedback in the comment section of the last episode, which obviously always welcome. Do keep it coming. Loads of you said, Lionheart, get rid of this horse. Apparently is a cursed horse and will lead the owner, the rider, to die uh, in the sort of worst uh, outcome of the scenario and sort of events that can pop up from it. I mean, there is kind of a hint here. It says the last horse you will ever want. I mean, you can take that as kind of... There's, there's two ways to say that. You could say, the last horse you'll ever want. And quite a positive thing. Or it could be, the last horse you will ever want. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's quite evil, that one. So let's go back to good old Red Horse. Happy Red Horse. He's not so happy now. We have changed his horse. He'll have quite a big old grin on his face. But uh, since uh, we don't want to lose you. Uh, so what I'm going to do, actually, uh, with that horse, because I kind of feel it's pretty apt, uh, I'm going to try and sell it to uh, Leo Bay. You know, if, if he wants to sit on it himself, that'd be grand. Um, so let's trade ancillaries. Uh, mount. There we go. Trade it. I think it should be worth a fair bit. Yeah, plus nine. Um, I would normally go for request regular payments, but if we set up a regular payment in five turns time when we want to declare war on the Han Empire and by proxy the Obey, um, we'll still have five turns left on this uh, regular payment treaty, which would then still give us a, a reliability penalty. So we don't want that. So we'll just request a payment. I am just going to ch chuck in 2,000. 
Oh, yeah, he's still up for that. Cool. All right, let's just keep popping that up. I'm going to uh, max it out as close as I can get. Ooh, wow, okay. Let's try... 30? No, that's still too much. Let's just try 3,500. He is keen on this horse. Yeah, you, you have this wonderful horse. Please ride it personally. And, uh, yeah, don't have a, an unfortunate accident or something like that. But yeah, thanks for the cash. Uh, the other thing you guys said was uh, old Dong Ming. Well, he has been vassalized by Liu Bei, so we're not at war with him. He has no wars currently going on. So don't need to worry about peacing out with him. We could have got some money if we peaced out with him before uh, Liu Bei vassalized him. So I need to keep an eye on that. Um, the other thing was trading off some of our food. There's um, Sao Ang down here, who is negative five. I mean, again, Liu Bei... He's very poor. I think it said before he was like minus seven. If we cancel our trees. But again, we don't want to set up a uh, long-term agreement with him because we want to declare war on him in five turns. So, Sao Ang, let's just see if we can trade you some food. I'm not going to go too crazy. I'm just going to go for six food. Let's see if we can request payment. I'll just pop this up. Get a few hundred gold coming in. That'd be nice. Okay, I'm actually not going to get that much in. Just tweak it. One more. There we go. 234. For 10 turns, not bad. We'll take it. Proposed deal. Have some rice. All right, so I think that's all the diplomacy you can do. And the final bit of feedback that was uh, uh, highly discussed last episode was this chap, Sheng Bao. Um, and loads of you suspect that he is, in fact, a spy. I mean, we can look... Here, he's come from the Han Empire and then came into my employ. So I don't know if the Han Empire sends out spies or not, but quite a few said because he asked for independence, um, you believe that he is a spy. So I'm going to go with you guys on this one. I'm going to banish him. We can take the, the satisfaction hit because of our heroism. So we'll take the extra 800 funds and a uh, bye bye. Kick him out. So we're also going to pop some of our characters into our various positions here as well. I'm going to go for Zhou Yu as our Grand Commandant. He will reduce recruitment cost faction-wide. Um, I'm going to put Sun Chen in as the Grand Excellency. That does plus 15% income from industry faction-wide. Very nice. In you go. And I am going to go for Lu Fan in as the new Administrator because, as we can see from um his effect what the position gives plus 15 percent income from all sources minus 30 percent corruption uh but it gives plus 15 percent income from industry uh but from lu fan himself plus 2k population growth plus 40 percent income from commerce silk and spice minus 30 percent construction cost that's pretty darn low so ideally we want to pop him somewhere where there's both commerce and industry so we pop him in and Building upgrades available. We don't look at that. Actually, what I'm going to do is rather than pop him in from there, I'm going to do it via the appointment menu here. We've already got um, Cheng Pu in at Changsha. We have Po Yang as a good source of industry, but this new province to the north, Yang Yi, um, that has commerce and industry. So I think I'm going to pop him in here. Uh, no, that's the assignments. There we go. Lufan. There we go. Confirm. And we'll also upgrade those copper pits as well. Get him in there. We can actually pop um, this chap in our uh, champion that rose from the ranks. But I don't want to put him on assignment because I actually want to recruit him into this army here. Now I could go for this chap. He apparently is an event character that comes out of causing a civil war up in Dong Zhou's faction. Um, but, while well, he does have a nice retinue with him, he's quite expensive, and we are pretty low on funds now that we've cancelled that trade agreement. Um, so I'm just going to get him in now. And, and plus, another thing I've noticed is that he has supposedly come from Liu Bei, so possibly a spy. He went from Dong Ming to Liu Bei. Don't trust him. This chap is uh, homegrown. He's loyal to Sun Jen, so let's pop him in instead he's also what is he he is feared he's bright and he's a disciplinarian lovely oh yes let's get him right in there and probably give him some Ooh, armor Ooh, the dull iron nice 
melee attack rate goes down, but he gets a higher charge. I'm not sure I want to lower his attack rate. The extra armor, though, is nice. Oh, let's, let's, let's chuck it in for now. Let's chuck it in for now. We'll hopefully get a better armor soon. I'm going to swap that over to the axe. Axes are great. No extra mounts. Any followers that will increase? Result? No, none are equipable. None there. So when something comes available, we'll pop it in. He is pretty satisfied, though. Good, good. Right, I think that's everything we need to sort out. We should just check to see if there's anywhere I can get a trade agreement. Now that I've cancelled my one, of course. It's with Leo Bay or the Han Empire. No, we don't want any of that. Peace. Mm, not just yet. Could do uh, non-aggression with Dong Ming, but he is a vassal of Leo Bay, so that'll probably get torn apart soon anyway. So, yes, become vassal of Leo Bay. No. So, yeah, let's not bother with any of that. Let's just leave things as they are. Are for the moment everyone is fine. You are mustering up your troops. You got two turns. We got five turns though to wait. With Sun Sir, Liu Bei does have this iron mine up here, so we might possibly want to go and take that first. And uh, Sao Ang, we could always trade with Sao Ang actually. Possibly. There's Liu Biao who I was considering because he is a vassal of i want to say big daddy yuan shu or shao rather not not yet the other one shu's up there but he is a vassal of shao could go after him but i don't think so we could go after the han empire territory at badong finally unite up the um lumber yard in fact if we wait a turn we could probably sail along here strike the small city then sail on back ready to defend from the iron mine of leo bay if he has an army up there I think that'll be the plan. Um, more money. Ooh, yes. Let's get that guard post upgraded because if we are going to war with Leo Bay and he heads on down this way, this is our front line and that adds in um, more garrison. We want to go up towards the patrol barracks to really add in a few more units and retinues. So let's... Uh, Sun Jen. Actually, yes. Sun Jen, we're not just going to leave you here. I'm going to go after Z Rong as well because you'll still replenish while we're moving. We'll go after uh, Z Rong for a few turns because he is a vassal of Yuan Shao. Yeah, we can grab territory. We might not hold on to it because, again, I don't really want to take too much territory north of the Yangtze River, really. But it'll give us an extra bit of income while we don't have that trade agreement for now. We could also go after Tao Ying. Um, Tao Ying is a vassal of Yuan Shu. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do. If we can take all that, it would border us then with Leo Bay. Um, do I have an option to not take the Emperor if I take control of the settlement? Can I sack and withdraw? Is that the only way? Because I don't actually want to take him because of the on Empire, unless we can kick out the vassal somehow. Anyway, let's end turn because that was like 13 minutes of that first time. We had lots to discuss and go through um, from all of your comments last episode. So that's fine. I'll uh, I'll record this for like 30 minutes from now so that there's still plenty of content today. That took a lot of time going through all those positions, going through our plans. And the coalition has upgraded to a military alliance, Leo Bay. I mean, he's in a pretty strong position right now now that he has control of the Emperor and the Han Empire. Um, so, what's formed between Sao Ang? Okay, Sao Ang, yes. So we might have Sao Ang going for us as well. In which case, we wouldn't have to then trade that iron mine over to him because we just keep pushing. The Sun Tzu might have to defend our northern border as well. Okay, we'll check that out in a minute. Come on to their vassal. And Zhao, let's join a war. He is down here as well, in fact. I think he holds the capital, yes, of this region, the city. Oh, they've gone to war with uh, Gongsun Zan. Okay. Let's go off. Make more enemies right now. Bandit. Bandit power couple. Uh, request them must go to war. Gongsun Du. Brothers in arms. Between Sun Jen and Lu Fan. Lovely stuff. That's what we want. Okay. Bandit Queen is mobilizing. Yes, smash that army. I still haven't seen her on the field, so I don't really know. But the faction is still in her name, so she must be alive. She's supposed to be, the AIs maybe can't afford to recruit her retinue, perhaps. That's what's happened. Um, Yon Yan, though, looks like he's about to get wrecked. Oh, and he's lost his... Oh, are they attritioning? Yes, they are. They've lost all their, se their settlements, I believe. 
Bandit King going down. And Celery's gained a Book of Rights. That would be good with Sun Chen. That authority. He's now legendary. Boom, boom. And also, how long until Sun Ren comes of age? Okay, seven more years. That's fine. So you guys just keep on mustering. Are we fully healed here? One more turn, then we can go. Although, if we go to here, we'll still replenish. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's fine. So then we can go around there next time. We can't attack anyway for a few more. Anyway. Um, just that one unit that isn't at full strength. But that's fine. It's going to the water. And then we can strike next turn. So we won't declare war this turn. We'll do it next turn. Good. Good. Reform wise, I'm going to go primarily after industry stuff. That one is a plus 10. But I'm going to go for this uh, yellow golden one first plus 50 percent income from industry then yeah more industry stuff and then anything for um commerce plus 80 percent income because that's those are our two main earners if we go to our treasury we can see yeah it's commerce peasantry actually industry is our lowest one really huh, okay well maybe we should focus on commerce first all the industry hmm. even peasantry go back to that reform tree i honestly thought we were running more from uh, industry there shows what i know we can get more trade agreements. Thing is, to get that one, we have to go through that first. But requires a building. Requires the county school. I'm just building upkeep. Oh, let me get the Silk Road Expeditions. It's not a flat one for commerce, though. Yeah, so all the commerce ones are here, 30%. That's, is that the only one? Okay, well, until I can lock that school, then I guess we're going through industry. Let's just see. Anyone for trade? Oh, Leo Biao. Yeah, if I'm not going to go after you, trade. Oh, it's going to be expensive. Uh, I don't have any ans... Oh, we have some armors. Let's just chuck them out. Are they any good? 38 and 28. I don't know. Could trade that mount to him. That's all we can offer at the moment. Um, does he need food? He's very poor, but I don't have that much food at the moment anyway, so I don't really want to give more away. I mean, I could offer him some money. What would make this work? Oh, he wants some... He wants the city. No. And some money. Okay, right now, the trade with him, not worth doing. So let's cancel that out. You're chilling over there. You're over there. Uh, anything that can be built? Yes. The... Ah, yes, of course. The small town. Upgrade that. The reason why we're going to do that is because we have overpopulation mission, which is to construct a building from the settlement administration. Good. Good. Yeah, after Zeron. Quite a few of you suggested I go for them as well. So... Uh, yeah, thanks for the complete overhaul of my my tactics but i definitely agree with you guys uh considering i mean i could have probably i could probably make it work but it'd be a pretty tough challenge if i had the han empire as my vassal and yeah and yeah the bandit king is down if i had um han empire as my vassal i would just have to very aggressively push north against leo bay with all my forces rather than going south and i've got that mission for path of glory to go south plus there's all this han empire territory i might as well go and grab it you know as long as i can defend my northern border kong rong joined wars alongside you on shadow going off bandit queen i guess everyone's going to jump on her now because she's lost bandit king support buildings guard posts and the pier yep 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 so I want to get that upgraded again. It's the patrol barracks I think I want because that one has the lowest upkeep cost at the end. Got some extra reserves and things like that and some other bits and pieces. But yeah, that's the easiest go through. Although the other ones all require 
a fat the next level up from this the fourth tier and up requires a reform that's fine this next one gives us a few more units let's at least get that in there clear through all that uh we're going to attack the wrong before we do let me just check with leo bay remind myself how many turns Ah, uh, of course, yeah, he's in the alliance now. Do I, do I... I don't bring in them. So you can declare war against all members of the alliance of the Graceful Crane. Interesting. So you can still pick him off. That seems pretty useful. Declaration. Three turns left. I'm glad it comes up with this warning. Well, it would be nice to see this before you hit it, because if you issue declaration and you've forgotten how many turns you had left, it will just straight up declare war. Um, and... In my situation, don't necessarily want that because that will bring in all of his vassals, right? Is there a way I can avoid? If I attack the Han Empire, that brings in, obviously, Han Empire's overlord, which is Liu Bei. But does that then bring in Dong Ming as well? Not that it matters. Dong Ming isn't going to be a threat to us, I wouldn't have thought. But yeah, just, just stuff I ponder. Just stuff I ponder. Anyway, attack. Issue declaration against Zi Rong. It's going to be a decisive victory, so I don't think we need to fight this one against the garrison. Uh, we have no demand surrender option, so we'll just delegate it. Got 641. Hence 2,640. That's fine. Gained heroism. Good, good. We'll occupy it. We've gone up a rank as well. And uh, what have we got? Intensity gives us mighty knockback. What I really want to get over is this one. Petrus charge. Melee charge bonus. Mass charge speed. But for that, I've got to go through this topic composure. We don't really need that, though. Because we've already got... Oh, we know we haven't got it, have we? Oh, okay. We haven't actually got night battles. Ah, I mean, we're going for it with Lu Fan because he's got all the missile units. So we do want fire arrows for sure. Hmm. Night Battle would be useful, but also mighty knockback. We went that one, two, three. We can still get down there. Let's. I mean, he's he's purple anyway. He's expertise. That inc instinct increases melee damage. Not yet. Let's grab it because the mighty knockback would be a cool ability to have anyway. Then we'll go through all of that. Because we're going to get with Lufan. How long until he levels up? A fair ways. Probably should have gone for the Night Battle flexibility, but... Hey, ho. Right, we'll move the farmland next. If we keep on smashing through. So yeah, three more turns. You guys are already here, so we'll move you down there. I could recruit in some more units. Could go for the spear guard. Let's chuck two more of them in for now. You fully healed, and then we just got to bring you some sir round here. Hope you'll like your fellow captains and generals soon again. Oh, look how happy he is! At least you got that red horse, not that dangerous one, supposedly. Right. End the turn. See if Zirong strikes back. Yuan Chao, though, moving back in to claim that Bandit Queen territory. And Yuan Chao himself showing on up. I fear for the Bandit Queen. She's got two armies there, but they're both taking quite a beating. I won't give her any more war targets. Just leave her to do her own thing. Yuan Chao... Join their war against yellow turbans. Yeah, we're going after yellow turbans. And he... I Mission success because we built the... Upgrade of the city, yes. So it's still there. Hang on, which one was it then? Ooh, the finest armor. Which armor did we get? Guardian. Ho ho ho! That is a nice bit of armor. Resolve as well. Oh, I know exactly who we're going to give that to then. 
Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Oh my god, look how cool that looks. Helmet and everything. Just need uh, a weapons as well. We should really grab the weapon craftsman, I think. When when we've got some money going, uh, I'm going spare, which we don't have a lot of right now. We do have some going spare. I definitely want to grab that because this armor that's being uh, spat out every so often right now is great. Oh, Po Yang, of course, you're upgrading that one. That's fine. We still need to upgrade that city anyway. We can finally get the private workshops in for more income from industry. So chuck that straight in. Guardian armor. I love it. I wonder if we'll encounter that uh, sentinel that we kicked out somewhere. I could pop the next mission. Invoke the council. Might as well. Let's build something from schools and settlement administration. Oh, that's fine because that's about to kick off. And settlement administration too from one. I think these need a bit of an overhaul because um, otherwise it's, I think, more variety and just different missions and stuff. Maybe even like the council tells you to go annex a small settlement or, you know, just capture one or defeat someone in battle or something or embed a spy somewhere or make a treaty with someone. You know, those would be slightly more interesting uh, options. Right, we are still replenishing. Let's just move to the border, see if we can reveal... Ah, okay, I can't quite see what he's got. Okay, so he's got a semi-decent force there. What's the garrison like? Uh, pretty, pretty solid, but with the trebuchet, we should be fine. We're not at full strength. How many missile units have they got? Two archers. Fair few in there. I've got another four in that one. We've got our cavalry. I might just stay over here a turn. Gives a bit more replenishment. In fact, I'm going to ambush on the off chance that we can draw them out. They're going for the, the trade port. That gets, a, that gets a decent garrison as well. Uh, also, let me just double check. Two turns, right. I won't check it anymore. Two turns and then we can do it. And we'll start, we'll kick off the war with Sun Chen. And we'll fight that battle against the Toolmaker. It probably won't be a particularly um, big battle. But I want to see this guy's armor and Sun Chen in action. Ooh, Yon Shao looks like they all got drawn out. Then what's this? Against Yuan Shu. I'm already at war with him. I mean, I guess except. Or is that with the alliance going in? Maybe it's an alliance wars getting declared on her. I'm at war with most people in his alliance anyway. Amber succeeded! <gasps> Huzzah! It'll be a close victory. Really? Well, I'm going to fight that then. So my game just crashed loading into that ambush battle. I've tried a couple of times to hit start battle and it keeps on crashing while it loads in. I have a feeling if we go to the map view here, uh, I have a feeling it's because as we can see here, this does not look like the standard deployment for an ambush battle. It should have a little red marker in the center here in between the two trees or lines of trees rather. And then my green deployment should be all around it. So I have a feeling like the right map isn't being loaded for this ambush battle. It's not being assigned correctly. I will send a copy of this little clip over to Creative Assembly so they're aware of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I could delegate it, but medium casualties. I don't want to be too broken because I want to turn around in, what, like two more turns to attack the, the Han Empire. So we'll withdraw for now. Good. They stayed out of their settlement. That's fine. It means I can go and attack them. Hopefully that won't crash. Hopefully it was just specific to that instance of the ambush battle. Liu Bei has requested Yuan Shu join their war against Matung. Get turbans. They're going after the Han Empire. And Yuan Shu declared war on Sheng Jiang. Okay, so that was what we saw. I was asked to join alongside that. Remain hungry. Oh, we've gained another Discourses of the States. I think I've already got that one. Plenty of buildings being built. OK, 
Okay, let's get through all that. Let's check diplomacy. We are a major threat now. Good, you're still trustworthy. Um, so what's happened? I guess it's all just against Zheng Jiang. Yeah, she's had a... I'm, I said, I don't know, to be honest. She had quite a lot going after her anyway. Um, oh, in this one, the end turn, her army managed to get away rather than being pulled up. Unless it just went out of view when the autosave kicked in for me to reload that battle. Um, that ambush. That crashed. So she might have just got herself a, a lifeline there. Interesting. Uh, anyone for trade? Yeah. And how about... Kibeli is still up for it. But, sir, we are declaring war next turn. Right. But first, let's see if we can get this not to crash. Here we go. This should be... Uh, still, it's, it's a decisive victory. Let's check the map. Okay, the map loads properly here. You know what? I think we're going we're gonna to fight it quickly just so we can bombard with archers and trebs yeah we're loading in fine normally you can tell when the games kind of crash or what have you because as it's loading through the audio will skip for like a second or two they're not though i'm not ending this episode until we declare war next turn on the han empire and we see sun chen's army in action with his champion in all his glorious armor Actually, you guys are saying that circle formation, great for if you get ambushed. So next time we get ambushed, I'm hoping to have some troops that have circle formation, because I definitely need to pop straight into that. I mean, turtle actually works pretty well, too, to be honest. But this one actually has a melee evasion. Circles, that's good. Good to know. Right. Um, grab you guys. With a wall. They've got their cavalry over on the right. So we've got his. That's your steel. I thought he had a knockback, or is that just like a passive that he gets? Oh, it causes extra damage when knocking back enemies. Okay, so as he charges. Okay. Mounted sabers, lancers. And blast through the center. Archers, probably take you guys off skirmish mode. That'd be a good idea. Really? Relative strength. Apparently, she's stronger than him. Let's, let's try. I can always pull him back. I don't believe that. Let's find out what happens. First hit. We've got it. Finding Fury as well. Sun Jen in here first. That's it. Ripping up the cavalry so I can then charge in with my own. Once they're already tied up. Oh, it's pretty close. 
此粗鄙，我当原样奉还。胜利近在咫尺。停住！杀光敌军。My guy should have the upper hand and be able to win. Yeah, he's got that. I thought I was reading that wrong at the start, but it looked like she had. She was stronger than he was. Oh, yep, yeah, right through the stomach. Nice. Get some health back as well. Move my infantry round to smash that center line. He's gone crazy. He's fallen relative. Turtle formation. Rotate. Dive back on in, Sun Chen. Yeah, he's broken. That's it. Go, go, go. Surround them and crush them. There we go. There, Cabri's going to head off shortly. So many banners. There's the victory. Decisive. 481 with the Trebs. Lovely stuff. That's what we want to see. Two hundred sixty-four lost. That's fine. Gain some heroism, and we'll take. We'll take the replenishment. There we go. Z wrong is down, and it's been succeeded. If I pull back in here, I'll replenish for the turn. And then we can move in on the farmland. Now rivals. That's all good. Right. Get ready to strike. And then we've also got some sort ready to strike over here. Good, good. Can we build anywhere? Can upgrade that one if we want to do. The extra garrison probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to have. Yang. Oh, we've got the other buildings go in here. State workshops, income from industry. We've got that bringing us more income from industry. So, yeah, state workshops. Okay, pop you guys straight on in. Then we'll upgrade you as well. Okay. End the turn. And then our war begins. Oh, they managed to avoid the ambush. Leon Shao. Ding Jang is going to have a lot of fun there. <laughs> Not. Oh, Dong Min is... Oh, he's... Oh, he's broken free. Who's this? You have a really cool portrait. 
Liu Zhang. Aang joined the war against Liu Zhang. Has been called in yet by his alliance friends. Now Ying, who's up here, has joined the war with Yon Shu against Matung. Got some administration buff. Lovely. And fraternal versus law. We can't do the fraternal one. So loyalty, e relationship, deep, greatly difference between Sun Jen and Sun Chen. Nice. Get our friends. Uh, relationship lost. Trait gained. Lady Wu. Okay. Ancillaries. A wooden dog. Right, we can reach that farmland now. Ah, oh, really? Got an army in there. Straight away. Close victory. We'll probably fight that one next. We can demand surrender, actually. No. Probably fight that start of next episode. But before we wrap things up today, one, we've got a reform. And I'm going to go for the extra industry at the moment. Yeah, there we go. That's good. But we are going to begin our war. Before we do that, I can give you that, which are oh, nearly enough resolve. We need a follower or an item or something that gives him just a little bit more resolve. That one gives him nine, because then he'll be legendary. But let us strike. Issue declaration. The decisive victory. Night battle. I just want to see this guy's armor. Quickly jump on in. Right. This is an interesting little segment. So they've actually got... Oh, they've got defenses. Okay. We've got flaming shot, though, so we can burn those towers down. I could just sit back and try and blast them. We don't have flaming shot on the trebs yet. Okay. Yeah, I could just sit back and blast. But um, I'll move up with my archers, I reckon. I'll just get through here quickly with the cavalry. Let's take a look at him. That's an awesome helm. Sun Chen, commander. Very nice. Probably see if I can give him a better sword or something. Go, go, go. So, by having the cavalry up here, we drew one of their swords. We can probably just charge on in. We'll wait until we see them appear down here because they don't have too many troops. Loose spacing. We're going to take some hits. It's fine. What have we got here? Speed and morale. And you have Wisdom of the River. That's a really nice ability. Oh, they're heading out straight to us. Get the morale hit on these guys. It's looking good. Left them all in skirmish mode. In we go. Mon Chang. In you go. You'll catch that cavalry as they break. Yeah, 
Tower's burning down. There's the victory. They broke. Nice. A swift battle to end things. So, that is where we will wrap things up for today. Uh, totally different tactics to what I thought I would be doing in this episode. But do keep those suggestions and that advice coming, guys, because yeah, I totally overlooked the implications of claiming the Emperor if I'd followed through with my original plans. So now we'll have Sun Chen diving through as much territory as we can get him through. Um, I guess we start taking this one, so we should finish off the... We should go commandry by commandry, I guess. I need to take this rice paddy at some point. We haven't taken a trustworthy penalty, so that is good. We are obviously at war with Leo Bay, um, but it needs to stay that way all the while um, that uh, we're at war with the Han Empire. But we've got to be wary of Leo Bay's territory here, so we need to see what we can do. Hopefully he won't bring in people like... Um, Thao Ang. I need to see his... How does he feel about me here? Uh, he doesn't feel great. Oh, yeah, war against friends. Because if I go to negotiate faction grouping, the Alliance of the Graceful Crane, Thao Ang's in that Yuan Shu. But yeah, if we can... Yuan Shu wants peace. We could not go after Tao Ying if we wanted to and just stick with taking that farmland. We will want that city, though, if we want to complete the commandery, though. Who are you? You are a vassal of Yuan Shao, so we can still go after you if we peace out with Yuan Shu. Good, good. So, yeah, you guys let me know. Should we peace with Yuan Shu, or should we take out uh, Tao Ying with Sun Jian as well? It will just mean that we are delayed grabbing that salt mine and pushing back that way, unless we raise another force, but at the moment we can't really afford it. We will also strike the small city of Badong, but we will pick things up fighting this battle at the start of the next episode. So until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take Prime of the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, and QT. Till the next one, ciao for now.